One of the most famous spacecraft in the world is John Glenn's Mercury 7 space capsule. I'm John Williams, and right behind me is the Mercury capsule John Glenn flew in when he became the first American to orbit the Earth. So this is the Mercury capsule, Friendship 7. Now the Mercury program had three main goals. One was to get a man to orbit the Earth, test a man's ability to survive long term in Earth orbit, and also to recover the spacecraft and man safely. So this mission was basically what achieved Mercury's success, and it was the third mission. Before this mission, you had Alan Shepard and Gus Grissom, who flew a year before. And only a year before this mission, Yuri Gagarin had flown into space and became the first man to orbit the Earth and be in space. So they were a little late to this, but that's because there was development problems with the Atlas rocket. So yes, this capsule flew on the Atlas rocket, which is very cool. And in there, you can see the instrument panel, and right below that is where the seat would be that was molded to fit John Glenn's body. Really, really cool. So this mission launched on February 20th, 1962. And when it launched, it went pretty well, perfectly, and it made it up to orbit. And as soon as it made it into orbit, it was the first person to orbit. So he went around on his first orbit, and a problem occurred early into the mission. You see on the back, on the bottom of the heat shield of this Mercury capsule, there were these posigrade grade rocket engines. And these little engines will give the Mercury capsule the final boost it needed to get into orbit. And what's happened is after this whole capsule separated from the rocket, the burn that was supposed to be five seconds happened two seconds late. So we ended up going up and starting to turn around. So he had to use five pounds of his 60 pounds of fuel to turn his capsule straight again. And that was like a huge time loss and that could have been catastrophic. So after that burn was complete, he was finally in orbit. Now, when he was in orbit, he had something special. You see, a day before the mission, John had actually gone, John Glenn had gone into a drugstore and bought um, a camera that was a 35 millimeter film camera that NASA actually modified with a grip so he could take pictures with one hand. And this was the first ever camera in space that was able to take a picture of the Earth from orbit. And also his capsule was the first capsule to have a window. There was a lot of complaints after the first two Mercury missions. So, on the second orbit, John Glenn actually had, he was facing backwards as he was going through orbit. So he actually used his own fuel and manual control to face forward again, so he was facing forward of where he was going. And the attitude control thrust, the attitude control computer was like, this is wrong. But he just ignored it and kept going straight, and that's how he got great photos. So he also um, had a problem with heat in his suit. He had a, his suit ended up being too warm, and the humidity inside of his spacecraft was getting too high. So he had to balance lowering the the um, adding humidity to his suit while also keeping the capsule from going too wet. Because if it goes into the instrument panel, as you see right there, then it could cause a short circuit, and that would basically destroy the internals. So on his third orbit, um, he actually was replacing the film inside one of his, inside his camera and it actually flipped around and went up inside behind the instrument panel up in that black darkness spot, which is pretty funny. So he had to wait till the end of the mission to get that back. So that's pretty cool. And when he was, uh, on, it, when he was on his third orbit, the mission controllers found a problem in segment, segment 51, which basically meant that the bag, because the capsule, when it came down for um, the landing in the ocean, the, the heat shield would pop open and there would be a bag that would hold on to the heat shield as it crashed into the ocean. It's covered right now, but it would be right below that, or right above that heat shield. That bag, mission control was receiving a, a command that said that bag was loose and the, the heat shield was literally unlocked so it could have just fallen and the only thing that was supposedly keeping it on was those retrograde rockets so there's a lot of debate if they should tell John and if they should just keep the engines on or jettison them in the end they didn't tell John Glenn too much 
but they made sure that those um, engines continued to stay strapped up until re-entry so they would definitely keep the heat shield straight here so it would go all the way down into the ocean so it's pretty cool and then after he made it they popped a parachute from the top and he slowly descended back into the ocean as soon as he and he landed and then I believe the ship the USS Noah came and picked him up because he was like six miles from that and that concluded the first orbital flight so it's pretty amazing to be standing here in front of this capsule so thank you so much for watching click the subscribe button and check out my other content have a great day our mission is to make you space intelligent